Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are going to be uh, doing a little bit of cosmetic touch-ups on the outside of the boat here. There has been some previous damage in the past. I'm not aware of how this happened and how it was fixed, but it wasn't fixed very well. And I can see the laminate and I don't know what they've used, but it sounds like it hasn't even adhered. It's pretty much let go. So I'm just going to remove all of this and then we're going to fill it and we're going to colour match some gel coat to the best of our ability and sort of seal it all up. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Today I am going to be varnishing Taj and I's bathroom. We got some Total Boat varnish and so super exciting. I'm going to varnish our bathroom because the wood wet near the shower was getting wet a lot and well it was just raw wood so varnishing it will be good and it's going to look super nice. I did one of Taj's trims in his room when that was down and it just made it look so nice. So I've pulled apart all the wood pieces and we're going to I'm gonna go varnish downstairs these pieces and then I'll varnish the rest in here but the piece that came out it's easier to do it downstairs so. Alright here's Belly preparing all of the timber for varnishing. She's pulled apart the bathroom and now she's got to sand it. So as you know we're sitting here waiting for our sail to arrive so we're doing jobs that we weren't gonna do. <laughs> But it'll be nice to have it done. And especially while everything's dried out, we have, the kids haven't been using their bathroom or the shower, so it's not like it's damp in there. So it's a good time to get it all done. So this will be Bella for the next couple of days. So I'm just going to remove all of this, tidy it all up, see what we've got. It's only cosmetic, it just looks like the gel coat. So for the fairing side of it, we're going to be using polyester. It is above waterline and the boat is polyester, so we're going to be using the polyester fairing compound followed by neutral gel coat, which we'll be tinting up. Total Boat has all the goodies to do all these little jobs like this. If we were to be doing anything below the waterline, I probably wouldn't be using the polyester. So below the waterline, I'd be using the epoxy and then we'd be using the Total Boat Barrier Coat, which would be going over any patchwork we'd done. As you would have seen in some of the previous episodes, we've got actual Total Boats Total Protect on the whole bottom. So there's a whole barrier coat over the whole of the bottom after our osmosis treatment. But like I said, today we're just gonna be using the polyester fairing because there's not much. I don't want it proud. So I'm just gonna put that on and then we're gonna put the gel coat on. There's many ways to do it. I'm gonna be using a wax gel coat. So what that means is when I put it on it's going to bring the wax to the surface and cause it to cure. You can do this sort of patchwork with an unwaxed gel coat and do several laminating layers and then the last layer you can add your wax to it or use a wax gel coat like this. The boat's pretty old, I'm not going to be too fancy here with the finish and it may be a little bit flat of the finish because I am going to use the Claudio Silica to thicken the mix up which can flatten it a little bit too but again the boat's really old so if it dulls it a little bit I'm not too concerned. My main concern is just to cover the laminate up so that no moisture and water gets into the hull. I'm going to remove this, see what we've got. Start with our polyester fairing compound and just tidy it up and then go over it with gel coat. You can see here it's you can hear it it's not even stuck to the hull so I'm not sure what these compounds are that they've used. It could have been done when the boat was in the water just a quick patch just to seal it. We'll start with one little bit and then we'll get into a little bit of colour matching once I've um, fared all this back. Very very hard to get this perfect it's more so how you sort of tie it in. So he's just taped up the rough area of where he's going to be repairing and then he's going to use the die grinder just to grind out and have a look of actually what's happening underneath and then he'll fix it because he's pretty clever and we'll show you the process. This is the first step. All right guys so I've cleaned up the wounds here the old wound these two down here are definitely too deep for just that polyester fairing compound uh, you probably wouldn't want to go more than I don't know, maybe an eighth in thickness, which this is a little bit thicker maybe. It might be all right, but it's, it's, in my opinion, it's a little bit too, too deep. So I'm gonna fill that with some glass first, 
and then we're gonna go to the filler. These top ones are fine. They're pretty much just the gel coat that was scratched and cracked. But as it works its way down, it's definitely the penetration it was a lot deeper. Hence why the last fix was cracked. There was a big cracked line down here. This was just all loose flaky glass. I've removed all that and we'll just have to glass that first. So I'll get into that and then we'll get back to the filler. I've just filled this. It was quite deep here, so I've just used some fiberglass and resin mixed through there. It's not perfect, it's far from it, but that's what I'm using this fairing compound for. It's all underfilled at the moment, so I'm just going to mix this up and we're going to put a nice little layer of that over and then I'll, I'll block that down neatly and then we'll be ready for gel coat. So it's about one ounce, takes about 14 14 drops or so, 10 to 14 drops, depending on your day. It's cooling down now, so you could probably have 14 drops. In the middle of the day, you might put 10 drops. You just play with it, whatever uh, floats your boat. So to give you an idea, that there is about an ounce of fairing compound. And I'm gonna mix that with probably say 12 drops. Just gonna get Sarah's scales out of the road. So I just wanted to get myself an idea on what an ounce looked like. So I'll put them out of the road before Sarah sees me. Got our hardener in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get this mixed in. Oh, this stuff feels bloody beautiful. Back in the day, this is similar to what I used to put on the walls. I used to do a bit of drywall back in the day. And this feels like topping. So I should be able to spread it out, I'd imagine. Get that nicely mixed through. Oh, this, um, Total Boat Fairing Compound. I have not haven't used it yet, but I can tell how creamy this is. This is gonna go on beautiful. So don't be shy to give it a good mix. Probably not as critical as epoxy. Nonetheless, we'll give it a good mix anyway. I know they say not to use this below the waterline. I am using it above the waterline, by the way, but if you were to use it below the waterline, you still could get away with using this. All you'd have to do is go over it with Total Protect, which is the epoxy barrier. I still would go with the epoxy, but if you had to use this. Now this is white, so that should be good. But if you did have a different colored boat, um, you can actually tint this. I'm actually not happy with this tool. New one, this might be a little bit smoother, better. The other one had a few little lumps and bumps in it. So I just switched over. There was a couple of holes there. Let's trim those edges down. Today is going to be a little bit of trial and error. Last time I played with pigments and colours, I was probably in kindergarten with water paints. Growing up a little bit since then, I'm going to be using gel coat and total boat pigments. This total boat gel coat, it's neutral wax gel coat. I'm just going to give it a little stir. What we're going to try and do is match the colour of our boat. So our boat is cream, we think, and like an off-white, creamy, who knows what it is. It's 30 years old, try and match it. So what we're going to be using is these pigments. We're going to go with the white one, yellow, and maybe a little bit of brown to make it dirty. Maybe even a little bit of black in there. We'll see once we start mixing and see how it goes. I'm going to mix it in this jar so I can just use little bits at a time because I'm going around the boat and just fixing up any little chips in that, any bits that, so we don't get any water ingress into our lemonade. So I'm going to be using wax gel coat with a bit of chlorotic or silica to thicken it up. Maybe if it was a brand new boat, you wouldn't go down this route because this can take a little bit of the sheen out of it. It will make it strong. It's an old boat, and so if it takes a little bit of the sheen out and it's not as glossy, it doesn't bother us. The way we're doing it is just quick and simple. We're just gonna use the wax gel coat. It's gonna be one coat. It's gonna be thickened so I can put it on thicker and there'll be a little extra sanding. We wanna get out of this yard, so we don't wanna play with it. We're not worried about the cosmetic side of it. We just want it sealed and strong and safe and so get back out there. Give them that a little mix up. One quart, so 32 ounces. Half of that, we want about 16 ounces, thereabouts. So let's see how we go here. Say when, darling. When you think we're at 16 ounces, see how close we are? Yeah. All right. 
let's see how close Sarah is. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to mix all this up because there is different colours on the boat and colours vary with gel coat. One side of your boat, if it's seen the sun more than the other, can actually be a different colour on the other side of the boat. Well, we've got 15.3. Oh, what did you need, 16? 16, that's oh, a pretty good guess good. there, Sarah. Of course, we have a neutral gel coat. I'm gonna start with the white pigment. A little bit of this in until we get what we feel we want. This part's not so crucial, the white. And all the rest of the colours we'll do a little bit differently. The slow and steady is the, the key with this. Just white and that colour might be our colour. Because I'm just going to put a little dab just on the boat just to start with because Sarah's calling that neutral and white close to our colour. Put a little dab up here just to what we've started with. Uh, so we're way too dark. That's going to be probably not a bad starting point. I'll go only a little bit more white and then we'll start adding the yellow because we're going to add a bit more in and lighten it. So add a little bit more white. So we're going to get the yellow coming into it really dark. But that one's lighter again. So I'm just going to put a little bit down here. What I'm going to do is put a bit of yellow on here. <laughs> I just mix the yellow in with that by accident. Put a little bit of yellow there and a little bit of brown. A little bit of yellow in it, but there. I'm just going to have a little play first before I mix up. There's actually brown on that too. <laughs> oh, I think I've ruined it. <laughs> I'm <hear you> this <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys. We have completely <laughs> fucked our colour up. We're going to start again. Like a baby poo colour. Hold on, I'm just going to wipe my bottom. So if you haven't realised this, I've never done this before. Let's <laughs> number one. Let's start fresh. I did contaminate that a bit more than I wanted to. A little drop of here on here. Minute amount we need to add because I'm just playing with the littlest bit of gel coat here. So I'm just adding an absolute little bit of yellow in here. Probably could have added half of that, but no, that's, that's all right. It's like green. So I'm going to make that dirty. <laughs> How dirty did you want it? <laughs> it goes real quick, <laughs> eh? This is like making cream. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are it's going to try work, again. Isn't it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to have another go because I don't give up. I added way too much of that pigment. I'm surprised how quick it turns it. So I'm just going to put an absolute little, little bit of yellow. Hence why I'm playing with this first. Okay, that's better. Dob on the boat, what this looks like. It's really deceiving because this is on a bright white bit of starboard. I still think we're going to go like whiter. It's probably too much yellow. A bit of that into here. Okay, so I just grabbed a little bit of the the pre-mixed because it's just way too strong that pigment so changed really quickly because I was using straight tin so what I'm actually going to do is mix this up on the stick with the white and get a really diluted amount of pigment this here is going to be really close to what I want I'm going to put another dub on there it's gone really yellow that wasn't yellow enough a little bit more right, what's your thought? oh that's our uh, white and we added a little bit of more white yeah. and then we added yellow and killed it. We oversaturated it and then I took it down I diluted the yellow just a little bit. We got that and then I've gone into more yellow again and it's gone too yellow. Yeah. But I don't know if I like that transition to start with. I might go back. I'm going to start again. I think I don't think there's enough white in the mix. Go over that. See if that looks any different. How's it look? For me, Dark. I'm going to tone that down with the littlest bit of yellow. What's your thoughts now, darling? Oh, that's pretty good. Is that your last one? Yeah. So that was going too yellow too quick, but is that not yellow enough? It's like it's dark. Yeah. So I'll start again. Really? What's on the wall there is fine. I don't want it perfect. I just would like it close. Yeah. Just before I start, I'm just going to try one more with just a... Like there's my brown and I've just diluted it and then it's only this, obviously in this small quantity here, it's just the littlest amount that changes the whole colour. I'm going to go like that, just dirty that up a bit. 
I've got a feeling that might just be the key. Actually, that does give it that look I think I've been looking for. What's your thoughts there, darling? All those easy and that, that's, that's all the same. I just put them against the different colours. Just a bit brown. It's too much, hey? I reckon like that amount I added in to that whole yeah. batch. Yeah. Pretty happy with the yellow, slowly added in out there. This is how I've found works well. I know it's a fairly big batch now I'm working with. So I'm going to just bring the littlest bit in there. And I can do this all day long until I don't overpower it. So I'm just going to let that drip into there. So that's a really diluted amount of yellow. So a few little drips in there. This is going to be our first little bit. Mix that in. So I did play with my base. I found bringing the, I started off pretty neutral and just kept adding a bit more white. Pretty happy with the amount of white. So I reckon I'm going to have a pretty good run on this one. It's definitely not worth jumping into too quickly because your colour can change really quick if you add too much. Better sample of where we are. An absolute slight understanding of how this works. I think I know what I'm doing from a DIY point of view. I'm going to give you my unprofessional advice. Put the littlest dab on there, and I'm going to put that on. So that's too white in my eyes. Before I bore you with doing this for the next hour, because I'm far from a professional when it comes to mixing colours, but I do know one thing. Slow and steady is going to win the race here, and I don't intend you guys to be here for that slow and steady. So what I'm going to do is my aim is just to slowly introduce the littlest bits of pigment to my white, or to my gel coat that I'm playing with here and just slowly add away until I'm happy with what we've got. So I'm just doing that, letting it dribble into there. And that's a really diluted amount of yellow. So we'll give that another well. Darling, stop, you're boring the f out of them. <laughs> Could you do that thing when you edit? What is it where it says three hours later? Three hours later. I'm calling just a little bit more yellow. Let's go with our last one. Pretty good. If you come back here from this angle, it blends into the boat. Guys, we finally cracked it. We got the magic ingredient. I couldn't tell you if I had to duplicate it again, but it is in this jar and we are going to use it. To uh, tidy up the little dings and whatnot around the boat, so some pro tips. Just had a little bit of the time because it can really go really quick. I found the easiest way was uh, just introducing like a whole heap of gel coat at the bottom of the stick and slowly just dragging a little bit in and, and mixing it and then dropping the mixed stuff in other than trying to put pigment straight in because it just turns it way too quick. It's actually starting to warm up now in Panasco. The days are getting hot, the boat's getting hotter. It's time to get out of here. Let's have a look at it. That's the last one there. What do you think? Pretty close. If I go like that and cover it, all the rest that's looking at you, see that? I'm uh, happy with that. I'm gonna clean that crap off. Prep this up and gel coat over it and we'll see what it looks like. I've just mixed in a little bit of thickener. So this is the gel coat that we tinted up. So we think we've got our color right. I've just mixed up a little bit and I've got it to like a peanut butter consistency. I'm gonna put that onto mixing board and catalyze that and apply it onto the boat. I think he's done a pretty good job. We'll see. It's funny, when he first started, I thought, oh, oh how's this gonna go because we always joke that Lee's colourblind because he always asks for tools that are a completely different colour than what he, they actually are. So when he was mixing it up and turned it brown, I'm like, uh-oh. I learnt pretty quick within like the first one minute that uh, <laughs> you only need the slightest amount of tint. That's enough to get us started. There's about two ounces there. It's a really hot day, so I'm probably going to just catalyse it. Well, what do they say? It's somewhere between 12 and 16, 14 and 16 drops per ounce. So we've got two ounces there, but it's really hot. So I'm probably just going to, I'm just going to run with, let's say 20 drops. So this is the before. I've obviously prepped all this. I'll give this a wipe down. I've actually just put some scratches all the way through it with some 80 grit. So that when I do put the gel coat that I'm about to apply on, when I sand it back, there's just slight bits of the colour that gel coat that I've added to hopefully blend it in. So let's see if it's going to work. Let's get this on. 22. I probably could have sieved the thickener. It was a little bit lumpy, but I'm just going to work it like this and hopefully get all those lumps and bumps out. So when I sand, it's nice and flat. If I'm not happy with this, I think I'm going to be, but if not, 
I can sand this down, I can just brush another coat on over it, but I'm hoping just to get away with one coat because I've got quite a few of these patches to do on the boat. And this is my first trial run. So I've started with the biggest one. I want to mix that catalyst in properly so we don't have any bits that are not set. So I just lay it out and work it. Pick it up, lay it out, work it. And that gets rid of all the lumps and bumps. I've got a beautiful paste there now. Whenever you're working with epoxies, resins, anything like that, you want to just lay it out nice and flat over your board you're working on. And that way it won't build heat and go off as quick on you. Let's get started. Oh, it looks a lot more yellower, darling. Oh. You know what? I think it's changed colour since I added the thickener in it. Well, that's going on like butter. Yeah, that'll do. Shouldn't take too long, it's a really warm day. There we have it. So I've got a few of these to do. This is just our trial run. I'll sand this down, let's see what it looks like and uh, whether we need to give it one more coat or whether that sands up and we call it done. I think the last thing we showed you was we put the gel coat on. He sanded it off this morning. He wasn't completely happy with it, so he's recoated it with just gel coat because he mixed it yesterday with some collodial silver. No. Wrong. Colletical silica. To make it thick, anyway. I'll show you what's happened. You know, we're trying to get out of here. Like, we're trying to get out of here. We're waiting for our mainsail, and then our mainsail arrived. It's exciting. And then we realized we didn't have our battens. So we're now waiting for our battens to arrive. And they're on the way. But yesterday, yesterday, our only credit card got blocked. Not just a ring your bank, can you please unblock my card blocked. Um, your card has been compromised and we're going to have to send you a new one from Australia which at quickest will be like 10 days so I don't know why but the universe wants us to stay here and <laughs> we're just going to have to suck that up I guess because we don't really have another option anyway I'm going to show you what Lee's doing it's really hard to see but there's a square in the middle which is what we used up there there's a bit of white, a bit of like a play colour there, and then there's actually a patch in that bottom corner I've done. I can't even see it, so that's going to be just our top coat. But yeah, I wasn't happy with it. it I think when I put the claudial silica in, it really changed the colour of it. Yeah. So I'm just going to put straight flow coat or straight um, gel coat. So this is after yesterday's one. We haven't. He hasn't put anything over the top. Big outline, which I done yesterday. I gave it a coat and I sanded it back and there's like a halo around it. It's just not quite right. It's all flat and it's fine. It is what it is. I've actually made just a slight change in the color in this right corner and you can't actually see the color on the, on the boat. I can't see it from here. I just added a little bit more yellow and a little bit more brown, the slightest bit. And now it's, um, it's disappearing. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I've just coated all the other holes, so I'm not too fussed with it. It's, it's fine, that's just the uh, epoxy filler now and all those. I'll sand those down and then I'm going to just run a flow coat over the whole lot and then we'll sand it and see what it looks like. It's pretty close and hey, it's an old boat, it's fine. I was just trying to get a little bit closer and I think I did because I, I, I stand back and I can't even see the colour I just put on the wall on the boat. You're messing out the bottom paint. I think yeah. we bottom painted too early. Lee's not real happy with how the boat turned out. <laughs> There's a green tinge. So he's super happy when he puts the gel coat on that is what he mixed up the colour in here. And then he mixes in the, the catalyst and then the catalyst makes it go a green tinge. Anyway, we're not sure what we've done wrong. If you know, then comment down below. Don't give him a hard time, he's never done this before. Really just balls it all up, but anyway. <laughs> that's life. He's a little bit of a perfectionist. So that's why he's disappointed. 
All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Maybe I've got it right by then. Okay guys, I finished varnishing the bathroom. This is the first part of the boat that we have varnished and it is all finished. Thanks to Total Boat, we used their varnish, which was super nice, the best varnish I've actually ever used. It was just so smooth, barely any brush lines, super easy to apply. And well, let's take a look at the bathroom. Alrighty, my bathroom is 100% complete. It's beautifully varnished thanks to Toad Boat. And well, thank you guys for watching another episode. We'll see you next time. Bye.